So we're talking to two of the champion teachers behind the Creative Koalas program at um, Bulo High School, and they're also the champion teachers behind the Green Team. And I understand talking to both of you that um, the Green Team uh, has added benefits in building relationships between faculties at the school. Rob, do you want to share um, some of those highlights? Yeah, it really comes from, through the students because we share some students yeah. um, in my TAS classes and in the geography classes. And we've got a really fantastic core of kids who are really linked into their subjects. They're also linked into what we're doing here. And we can talk to them on a level, not as teacher to student, but as uh, equal human beings, as colleagues. And they're really into what they're doing. And it's just so lovely to be able to ask them their opinion and do things with them and say, we've got a job to do, let's go and do it and it means that it's so much easier to communicate. Zach, you're with the Green Team at Bullo High School and you're out on Sandman Beach today cleaning up the beach. I see you found something rather large in the lagoon behind us. We found a, what was left of a couch, which I'm guessing floated down the creek on Monday when it was raining a lot, so we have just dragged it up the side because it's too heavy, we can't carry it, so we'll call council, we'll get them to pick it up, that should be it. How do you feel about when you find things like that and you think about People dumping things. Horrible. You can call council, sit out in front of your house, they come pick it up, but instead they just dump it in rivers, just out of sight, out of mind. It's, it's horrible. It's disappointing, isn't it? So, what would you say to those people? Just care about your environment. Like, think before you just throw it in. Sure, it takes like five extra minutes, but that can help the environment. And um, I saw the students were very excited when they looked in one of the drains, which was a lot cleaner than it normally is. And I understand that's because of some work you've been doing in the creek further up. Yeah. Um, Stace, do you want to take yeah, that question? Yeah, sure. So probably every month, it's not exactly, you know, to the day, but we do regularly head, head to the creeks since the Creative Koala program, especially, um, which surprised us, to be honest, um, the amount of rubbish we found down there and the household waste. So we, we do, we go down there at least once a month and with the past weather where we've had quite a lot of rain, we expected a fair bit to have flowed through those creeks and estuaries that feed the beach and very surprised there wasn't much there at all. So that's, that's a yeah. great sign that these kids are really doing some good work. And that would be extraordinarily rewarding for them. I, I, I saw the big smiles on their faces down there on the beach. Yeah. And um, you've got some very unusual things out of the creek, I understand, Rob, and you're actually upcycling. Um, yeah, these are some really fantastic, what are they, Art Deco, they're yeah, really stools. cool stools, they're <laughs> probably the most comfortable we've got in the school, they're, we fish those out of the creek, we've got a couple of shopping trolleys behind you, we fished out of the creek, we've got a whole other bits of garbage we fished out of the creek, and the in really great, enormous rug we got out of the creek. Um, <laughs> And that oh, was hilarious. quite an effort. That was really, really Extreme big effort. Sports. Fantastic work with the kids. <laughs> I've got a photo of them dragging this thing back across the oval and they've uh, been collecting it all together, putting it in the bin, getting rid of it properly and really cleaning up the area. Stacey, you've been running the green team here at Bulleye High School for some time. What type of cohort do you get? Do you get a mixture of students from all years? or? Yeah, it's awesome. So we, we offer it from year 7 to 10 um, and year 10 tend to be able to select their sports first. So unfortunately, most of the time the year 7s miss out because we're full by then, aren't mm. we? Um, and we predominantly get male students. We do get a minority of females, but they, I never feel that gender imbalance within the group. But I think the gentlemen tend to like to get in and get things done and see a project that's started and finished, isn't it? And mm. it's, if it's paper recycling or mulching, it's like get in, get on the tools and, and, and do it. And they, they love it. it. Sounds Yeah, they do really get into it. So it's great. So you think the physicality of, of, of out doing something that's really worthwhile, but yes. there's also um, has a physical activity attached to it attracts the guys yeah it's definitely got an instantaneous result so you know you've got this barren garden and you go and mm. get three wheelbarrows full of mulch and wham it looks amazing around you know and then that's feeding the plants as well and doing all these wonderful things for the environment but yeah so they really enjoy doing that bull high school says yes, yes to clean beaches, beaches.